Hi, in this video we'll learn how to subtract mixed fractions with unlike denominators. So in order to subtract mixed fractions with unlike denominators, first of all I need to convert these mixed fractions into improper fractions. So let's do that. I'm going to convert 6 and 2 thirds into improper fraction first. So to do that, I would have to multiply my whole number with the fraction's denominator first and then whatever I'll get, I'll add that to the numerator. So 6 times 3 gives me 18. I'm multiplying my whole number with the fraction's denominator. So 6 times 3 gives me 18. And then I got 18. I'm going to add that to my numerator. So 18 plus 2 is going to be 20. So my numerator is going to be 20 now. And we don't change the denominator. So the denominator is going to stay 3. Then same thing we're going to do with this mixed fraction, we have to convert this into improper fraction. And to do that, I'm going to multiply my whole number with the fraction's denominator. So 1 times 5 is going to give me 5. And then I'm going to add this 5 to my numerator. So 5 plus 1 is going to give me 6. So my numerator is going to be 6, and we don't change the denominator. So the denominator is going to stay 5. Now notice that I have different denominators in my fraction when you have different denominators, you cannot add or subtract those fractions. So first thing we need to do is we need to find the common denominator. To do that, we will have to find the least common multiple of 3 and 5. So we'll list down the multiples of 3 and 5. Multiples of 3 are going to be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. And Multiples of 5 are going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. Now we're looking for the least common multiple. Notice that these are the multiples and we're looking for the smallest multiple which is common in both of them. So the smallest multiple which is common in both of them is 15. So we know that the least common multiple of 3 and 5 is going to be 15. Now, I'll use this to make the denominators equal. Now, I know that my new fraction's denominator should be equal to 15. So, how do I get from 3 to 15? So, let me write the fraction here, 20 over 3. Okay, I know that the new fraction's denominator should be 15. How do I get from 3 to 15? And remember that when we generate the equivalent fractions, we always multiply. So wh what do I multiply in 3 to make it 15? Well, I can multiply this by 5 because 3 times 5 is 15. Now, if I'm multiplying my bottom number by 5, I would also have to multiply my top number by 5 to keep my fraction balanced. So I'm going to multiply this by 5. 20 times 5 is going to be 100. Notice that these fractions are equal to each other. 20 over 3 is equal to 100 over 15. So I can replace 20 over 3 with 100 over 15. So in place of 20 over 3, I'm going to write 100 over 15. And the same process we're going to repeat with 6 fifths. I know my new fraction's denominator should be equal to 15. How do I get from 5 to 15? Well, I can multiply my denominator by 3. If I'm multiplying my denominator by 3, I would also have to multiply my numerator by 3 to keep my fraction balanced. And 6 times 3 gives me 18. Now, I know that 6 fifths is equal to 18 over 15. These are equivalent fractions, so I can replace 6 fifths with 18 over 15. So in place of 6 over 5, I'm going to put here 18 over 15. And notice that I have the same denominators now, and I can go ahead and subtract these fractions. To subtract the fractions, we always subtract the numerator and we leave the denominator as it is. So I'm going to write my denominator as it is, which is going to be 15. Now 100 minus 18 is going to be 82. So we're going to write here 82. Now here in this fraction, my numerator is greater than the denominator, so we cannot leave our final answer in this form. We have to change this, we have to convert this in the form of mixed fraction since it is an improper fraction, right? In improper fraction, the numerator is always greater than the denominator. So we're going to convert this into mixed fraction. To do that, I'm going to use the long division method. So 82 divided by 15. 15 will go into 82 
5 times 15 times 5 is 75, and 82 minus 75 is going to be 7. So I got the remainder 7. Now, we have to write our mixed fraction. Notice that in the mixed fraction, you have the whole number and the fraction, right? So we need the whole part and the fractional part to convert, to write this in the form of mixed fraction. So I'm going to use my quotient first. Quotient is going to be my whole number. So 5 is my quotient, so 5 is going to be my whole number. And then I'm going to use my remainder and the divisor to write the fractional part. So remainder goes in the fraction's numerator, and divisor goes in the fraction's denominator. So my final answer is going to be 5 and 7 over 15. So when you subtract 6 and 2 thirds minus 1 and 1 fifth, you get 5 and 7 over 15, and that's going to be my final answer. I hope you find this video helpful. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.